Good morning, everybody. Oh, what a late night. <laughs> the Wi-Fi was terrible. The cat was restless. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's a new morning. Vlogmas number three. We're at number three. Can you believe it? My God. Oh, right. I have no idea what the time is. Right. Um, oh, my word. It's nearly 8.45. And I've been up for a while. I was awake just after six. And yeah, I'm a little bit weary. But I've had a coffee. Decaf. Um... I can have a caffeinated coffee, but it makes me go weird if I have more than one. Um, yeah, I had I had one once at work, and it did make me go weird. That doesn't normally happen. Normally, I'm, I'm okay if I have one, if I keep my fluids up throughout the day. Um, but yeah, I had one coffee, and I thought, that's it. I'm banning myself from work, the work, the coffee machine at work. So, um, trying to stick to decaf coffee as much as possible when I have a cup of coffee. Um, so yeah, I've had my morning cup of coffee, taken my regular medication, well, almost all of it, I've still got to take my inhalers. Oh, inhaler. I took two, both of them last night because I was feeling a bit weird. Um, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't breathe out of my nose. I was feeling a bit wheezy. So yeah, I had that I'm content with last night. But I'm gonna be wearing my new comfy trousers that I bought yesterday as well. Um they feel really soft. So I'm gonna be wearing them. So yeah. And it looks like we're gonna have a pastry pastry breakfast. You can tell I'm tired, I can't even speak. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And it sounds like we're going to go to like, it's sort of like a local garden centre, but not. It's just like, um, um, I don't really know what to call it. It's like, um, it's called, it's like a, um, refurbished barn. And they sell kind of like local goods in there. There's a calf there. So, um, sounds like we're going there for a bit. And we are putting the tree up today. The Christmas tree is going up in the John household. So, um, that'll be interesting. <laughs> so, check on you later. Or they will give you a toothache if you were at one that and one go. But I do like that as the way they've done that snowman at the back there.
I love this song. I so want to go and tonight we are live, but I don't think they're performing it live. The other ones, they were, weren't they? No. Are there mics? No. No, because if you look closely, there's no audience. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, there's no judges. Previous one. Oh, okay. I haven't been great with updating this vlog because I haven't been well. Um, so um, that's put a bit of a spanner in the works for this one. But I'm here because I have two uh, tea time bookshop boxes to unbox. One of them is really old, it's been sitting on my window so for ages. So it's time to unbox it. So this is the one that's been sitting on my bookshelf for ages. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so with these book boxes, you get a choice of um, either brand new books or um, secondhand books. And with that comes bookmarks, postcards, and a choice of coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. And then you get biscuits like these, for example. So, yeah. Oh, now I've had these coffee things before. And yes, cocoa's about, as you can hear. I've had these coffee bags before. They're really good. But I've got to be careful because they're caffeinated. So, they're really good. But I've got to keep my fingers up. So, that is good. That is good. Oh, what does this bookmark say? Oh, read on, dream on. Read and dream on. I like that. Okay, we've got the postcard. I think this must have been sent around Halloween because the postcard is sort of autumn or fall vibe with the pumpkin in the corner. So this is must be Halloween. Now the books. On to the books now. If you're lucky, some of them might be signed. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, I don't think these are. Um, no, I don't think these are. But these are really cool, actually. Um, I haven't seen this cover in orange before. This is really cool. Um, this one I've seen about um, in the library quite a lot. Magpie by Elizabeth Day. And I'm pretty sure this is a thriller. Um... When Marissa meets Jake, everything falls into place. But then their new lodger, Kate, arrives. Something isn't right about her. It's the way she looks at Jake, keeps her toothbrush right next to theirs, and constantly asks questions about the baby they are trying for. Or maybe it's all in Marissa's head. That's what Jake thinks. And she trusts him, doesn't she? But Marisha knows something is wrong and she is determined to find out why even it even if it costs her everything Ooh. that actually sounds really really good oh that sounds really good not going to lie oh my god why did i make the print so small Okay, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. So, oh, that sounds so, so good. And we've got another one in here which I have not heard of before. Um, but, interestingly, it was the Booker Prize of 2022, shortlisted. So, this is by Elizabeth... 
Stout, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, and it's called O. William. It kind of reminds me of a play I was in when I was 17 called O. Clarence, so I wonder if it's sort of on the comedic vibe. Um, Lucy Barton is a writer, but her, but her ex-husband William remains a hard man to read. William, she confesses, has always been a mystery to me. Another mystery is why the two have remained connected after all these years. So Lucy is both surprised and not surprised when William asks her to join him on a trip to investigate a recently undiscovered family secret. One of those secrets that rearranges everything we think we know about the people closest to us. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I'm not quite sure, but, and it looks like it's a second book in a series because there's another book on the back which says my name is Lucy Barton, so I don't know whether I should be reading this when there's another book. It says my name is Lucy Barton. So, do I need to get the other book before I read this? I don't know. If you've read this, please let me know if I can jump straight into it, or do I need to read my name is Lucy Barton first? Yeah, I don't know about this one. The cover looks gorgeous, though. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but we'll see. But definitely going to read Magpie at some point. Definitely. So that is that one. I'm going to put that at the end of my feet. That's got number four for now. Right, this is the most recent one, and I don't know how I'm going to open this one. You have got to love tearing open a box which says tear here and it's more like digging into it okay we are here what do we have here what do we have here okay what do we have here okay we have we like to, oh i've had these before i have had these before and once again, they're good. They're good. A little bit biscuity with the aftertaste, but they're good. They're really good. So that's good. Um, oh, shortbread. We have shortbread. Quite Christmassy. Scottish shortbread, but it looks mint. Hmm? I'm going to move this this way a bit so that I'm not blocking your face. Um, oh, I, I love that. Love, love, love it. Love that. Love that. Oh. Books are the plane and the train and the read and the read. They are the destination and the journey. They are home. Oh, I like that. And I think they are mince pies there. Brew a cup of coffee. I love that. I'll find somewhere on my little cork board to put that. For sure. Okay, one of these books um, it looks very similar to Magpie, the cover. I think I've heard of one of them as well. Um, again, I think we've got another thriller. Instant number one bestseller. Okay. Um, oh, it's the same author who wrote The Girl on the Train. A Slow Fire Burning. It's the quiet ones you have to watch. Okay. Three women connected by one brutal crime. Three women determined to right the wrongs done to them. Three women with everything to hide. When it comes to revenge, even good people are capable of terrible things. But only one person killed a Daniel, a Daniel Sutherland. How long can their secrets smolder before 
they explode into flame. Oh, okay. Oh, and actually, actually, the text is quite nice as well. So, oh, it has a map. It has a map. I quite like that. Oh, I stand corrected. I quite like that. I quite like that. Oh, and this one. What's this one about? It all belongs somewhere to someone. Oh my god, this sounds really sad. Um, this one says Little Win by F Little Wing. I can't pronounce words sometimes. Uh, Little Wing by Freya Nor. Oh, and, and Graham Norton reviewed it. Okay. Ah, oh, this is another one going back through time. So no wonder Graham Norton reviewed it. Um, 1969, Florence Lawson, a 16-year-old schoolgirl, finds herself pregnant and banished to one of the most remote parts of the UK. 1986, Dougie Maru, Maru, I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that last name, searching for adventure, leaves the Isle of Harris for London and a career in photography. 2005, Neil Hartley, oh sorry, Nell Hartley, content with her life as manager of a calf, Kath in Colchester discovers a shocking truth about her family. Between London, Essex and, and the wild, unpredictable Outer Hebrides, three lives collide as secrets surface. Why is Dougie so reluctant to return home? How can Nell make peace with the lies she's been told and what happened to Florence all those years ago? Somewhere far away, the answers are hidden. I thought for one minute reading that last paragraph, I was like, who the hell is Florence? And I suddenly realised Florence is a 16-year-old in the 60s. Um, this has a danger, depending on how it's written, to be very confusing. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite sure about that. Yeah, I sort of, I'm in the same boat with the um, second book in the other books about this, but um, it's interesting to say the least, but um, especially with how Graham Norton has reviewed it. I'm not surprised that Graham Norton has um, reviewed it because it sounds, the plot's the way the plot's uh, figured out is very similar to Homestretch, which is by Graham Norton, and that that was really good. So, shall I read that? Shall I read this? Because Homestretch was really good, but then again, it wasn't. It's not written by Graham Norton. It's by Freya North, which I've never heard of before. Shall I give it a chance? I have no idea, but. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I struggle with books that jump from time to time because sometimes I get confused and I can't keep up. However, if it is done right, it could be fascinating. So, hmm. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day reading and i just realized strictly might be on there so i am going to turn my telly for strictly and yeah 